Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here. And finally, Moon Reverse a native cryptocurrency called MOVR is starting to wake up. Because ever since I started talking about MOVR, the price ever since then has done over a 5x. I mean, just imagine that. Carayo, boha. That's insane. You know, I must say I did a pretty good call on that. You know, when all the people commented and said, oh, wow. MOVR, it's like a meme coin. Look at the chart. Oh, wow, all of this type of nonsense. Where are they all now? They're all crickets because all of the MOVR critics, or should I say Moon River Ding Dongs, they're going to be running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and hypothetically start begging for that used bratwurst, or should I say baguette, or picanha extender Taylor Swift edition. If you know, you know. MOVR is starting to wake up. However, even still, despite that, I think that the best days are still ahead because we're not even in a fully fledged bull run yet. And MOVR is already doing this. So just imagine what would happen during a fully fledged bull run. You know, this right here could really look so minuscule in the grand scheme of things. And I really do believe that could be the case because I think that MOVR during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $700, which by the way, is still over a 30x from here. So even despite seeing over a 5x, I think that the best days are still ahead of MOVR. And of course, that's all financial advice. But in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe that could very well happen during the next bull run. And a major reason why I think that could happen, I think it's going to boil down to the rock solid fundamentals of Moon River. Because I think that over time, especially in the long term, fundamentals will always win. And when it comes to Moon River, it has that covered. You know, Moon River is an Ethereum compatible blockchain environment on the Kusama network. Moon River is intended to operate on Kusama as a pair chain, which as a result helps projects reach new users and markets through a multi-chain approach. And when it comes to Moon River, what it is, is that it is quite essentially a canary network to Moonbeam. And Moonbeam, by the way, is on the Polkadot network. And what this means right here is that new code will typically ship over to Moon River first and after it has been tested and verified under real economic conditions, then it will be shipped over to Moonbeam. You know, Moon River serves such an amazing purpose in my opinion. It's quite essentially the way I view it supporting Moonbeam. And this is very similar to Kusama and Polkadot. And again, right, Moon River is on Kusama and Moonbeam is on Polkadot. Kusama, it's a canary network quite essentially to Polkadot, very similar to in a sense how Moon River is the Canary Network to Moonbeam, which again is on Polkadot. You know, the way I view it is that Moon River, it's like Robin, but Moonbeam, it's like Batman. But yeah, besides that point, I think Moon River is already doing very amazing, even in its own right. Because if we take a look at this, Moon River is actually home to the most active DeFi ecosystem on Kusama, and it even supports ERC721 NFT bridging with Ethereum which I find very fantastic. Something that really gets me enthusiastic for the future of Moon River is the fact that on its ecosystem, we will find many amazing projects that are related to NFTs and DeFi. And I think this is going to be so amazing for the future of Moon River because NFTs, yeah, they may be down right now. When it comes to DeFi, you know, ever since 2021, a lot of people, they have quite essentially not really believed in projects that are focused on decentralized finance. But I think that this will soon change in the very near future because according to Grandview Research, the NFT market over the next seven years is anticipated to be worth over $211 billion. That's bigger than some countries' GDP. That's insane right there. In addition, also according to Grandview Research, by 2030, the decentralized finance market, aka DeFi, is expected to be worth over $230 billion. I mean, that's crazy. So I think that moving forward, as the NFT and DeFi market continues to grow, I think so will amazing projects, much like Moon River, that do have many amazing projects on its ecosystem that are related to NFTs and DeFi. I think its future could look so bright. Some people, they may think that, wow, Moon River's native cryptocurrency called MOVR, going to the price of $700, what are you on about? That's crazy. But here's the thing. Considering its current circulating supply, if MOVR were to reach the price of $700, it actually would have a market cap. And just let this sink in, right? That is over $80 billion less than Dogecoin's all-time high market cap. And now, some people, they may say, oh, it's not fair to compare MOVR directly to something like Doge. You know, Doge has 
a much bigger community, more holders, more fans, more hype. That I understand. But the reason why I want to use this example is to just showcase how in the world of cryptos, you know, it's not uncharted territory. So I don't think MOVR going to the price of $700 is outlandish. I don't think so. Now, if I'm saying MOVR is going to have a $500 billion market cap or a $1 trillion market cap, then yeah, I get why some people may think, wow, that's crazy. But again, just around $8 billion in market cap, it's not too much to ask for. It's not unheard of, in my opinion. I think that a major catalyst, which could very well allow MOVR to hypothetically attain the price of $700 during the next bull run, is the fact that I do think that the next bull run could be so legendary. And why do I say this? Because as of right now, there's over 420 million people around the world owning cryptocurrencies, which is a very insane amount. However, what makes this even more insane is the fact that especially when you consider back in 2021, there was over 120 million less crypto owners than today, especially during that 2021 bull run. I mean, just let that sink in, right? That bull run in 2021 already looked that crazy. So you got to imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now that we insert this many new crypto owners. I mean, man, when you have this many people owning cryptos, I think that during the next bull run, the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and as well as the altcoin season could look so insane. I think what we're seeing right now is just a very small taste of what's to come during the next bull run. I mean, once the next bull run really does start happening, you know, once the altcoin season truly kicks off, I mean, man, that's going to be sizzler time right there because I think that MOVR it's going to have a very good time. And I think that when that happens, all of the MOVR critics, or should I say Moon River Ding Dongs, they're going to be running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and hypothetically start begging for that used Picanha Extender Taylor Swift edition. And with that being said, what am I doing? And what have I been doing for the past almost a year at this point? I've been dollar cost averaging because... I believe in the future of MOVR. I think it's amazing. And that is why anytime I earn any sort of income, I set aside some for MOVR. Quite essentially by dollar cost averaging is that I'm putting a set amount on a set schedule over an extended period of time. And I discipline myself because it doesn't matter, you know, what I want to buy, right? Let's say I have an impulse. I'm like, oh, I want to buy this. I want to buy that. No, I just say I can't do that. I have to focus on putting my extra income towards investing because I believe that it's very important to delay gratification because let's say right let's say six months ago I decided to buy something crazy like let's say a complete nonsense product like a Louis Vuitton bag let's say I did that you know considering that if let's say I bought that instead of buying MOVR I could have potentially lost out on over 5x gains that's complete nonsense and what does a Louis Vuitton bag do at the end of the day nothing in my opinion you know it only impresses other people but other than that, what does it really do? Again, right? I think absolutely nothing. I would much rather invest and have my investment portfolio go up and be able to help people around me, right? You know, be able to help others, be able to change my life instead of buying a nonsense luxury product. And that's why I believe in dollar cost averaging. And that's why I believe in investing so much. I think by doing so, I think I'm preparing myself for such an amazing future. And that's why on a routine schedule, on a consistent basis, I'm continuing to accumulate more and more cryptocurrencies, including MOVR. I think it's really going to change my life. And now, of course, that's all financial advice, but that's why I do it. I'm doing this to change my life forever. I think that MOVR is a sleeping giant, and I think it's ready to shock the world during the next bull run. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's me, the captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.